Hey, we kunnen op YouTube, hè? Hallo. So, um, uh, I'd like to start with a personal note. Nobody uh, shared any personal notes. So, welcome to the 14th of July 2019, where I will be married in Uganda, because it is possible to marry in Uganda. And I will celebrate my 25th birthday in 2019. <laughs> so, a good way to start. Um, in 2019, the world will have changed. We see the world as follows. We see the world in green, red, blue and yellow. <laughs> green poles, climate change, new challenges, floodings in blue. Uh, we see a lot of conflict happening around the world, conflict around resources. And I think I can say it because Guus is not here. We see the three R, uh, resources, religion, and rich, poor divisions. <laughs> <laughs> we also see a changing center of power, which will probably lie in the East. Um, we see a rapid, rapid urbanization degree. So big, big cities, lots of people, lots of migration, lots of young people. Apart from the demographic developments, we also see a different attitude in the world. More a focus on entrepreneurship, take responsibility yourself, which has a risk of exclusion and people falling between the cracks. We also see another attitude, a short-term focus. An attitude of what we call the mouse click participation. I want to join, but I don't want to sacrifice too much. One mouse click away. And it needs to be around fun and entertainment. We, on the political and the development level, we see um, there is a balancing uh, uh, a grade between a federal citizenship. People are becoming more federal on the one hand. On the other hand, people become more local, more inward looking. A very important development. We see a declining nation state. We see more diffuse decision making. Where does the decision power actually lie? Does it lie with the nation state, the government, with the corporates, the multilaterals? Where is it? Where, where, where does it happen? Uh, in the field of development, we see that there, is, um, there becomes a division between lower income countries and middle income countries. A very important consideration for the next sheet. And between that, we see uh, more differences in the Gini coefficient, so the uh, division of wealth. Next sheet, please. <laughs> so, these developments, what does it actually happen? Uh, what does it actually mean for the Wash Alliance? So, we draw a blue world. The Wash Alliance is central. The changing environment that I just sketched, uh, let's say the rapid urbanization and the challenges in climate change, they demand more urban planning in big cities. They demand a good and proper preparation on wash planning. They also demand solutions that on the one hand are small and custom made, but on the other hand can be replicated on a wide scale. Um, they also demand a, a better focus on water governance, remember all the floodings and all the droughts, and on integrated water resource management. And on top of that we see the world where, for example, there is shortage on water, there, uh, the water grabs will happen. Shortage on water? I arranged for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time. We see, we see a world with water grabs and land grabs. So also something that the Wash Alliance needs to take into consideration. In terms of change of attitudes that we just sketched, um, we have to look for agents and drivers of development, and those are the entrepreneurs, the active people around. And we see KISS. <laughs> Keep it simple, stupid, <laughs> the abbreviation. So we need to look for simple solutions, simple, affordable, local, everything needs to be simple. And on top of that, there will be something in it for me. That is the thing that people need to recognize when they look at the Wash Alliance. On the political and the development level, um, we see that we have to look uh, for other political focal points. That can be a mayor instead of a president or a prime minister. Um, we also see that we, as a Wash Alliance, we would like to see more attention for policy influencing instead of service delivery in some cases. Remember the division between middle income countries and lower income countries. It means that we have to make an analysis of um, where we do service delivery, which might be in a lower income country, and where we focus exclusively on policy influencing in the middle income countries, where it doesn't make sense to do service delivery because it's not our uh, responsibility. Um, okay, next. <laughs> I'm almost done. Um, 
So if you ask us, uh, what, why are we proud of the Warsaw Alliance in, in uh, the year 2019? That is, the phone will keep on ringing. Whenever there is a Warsh issue, they will call us. We will be the first focal point for every Warsh-related issue. We are so they know us. Also, we are able to offer concrete products and concrete solutions in a time span of one year. And when you go with us, you get value for money because we have the products, we have the value for money and we have the right partners, which means that we basically have a capacity to deliver. That makes us proud. Um, in terms of uh, cooperation, we see um, yeah, a model where there is a multi-stakeholder, but we didn't much like the word stakeholder, so we would like to call it delivery partners. And it could be a la carte. I need someone for this job will choose that, that person or that organization. Uh, countries, under this, we see an approach that's less top-down, so uh, the, the, the weight is more in the south, uh, the southern alliances are stronger, we see countries as markets as well, not only countries but markets, and Africa, Asia, I put really? Does it have to be Africa? Does it have to be Asia? It can also well be that we, have, uh, that we offer solutions that are applicable outside of Africa, outside of Asia. So this is a plea for more flexibility in the choice of countries. Um, we also look at the bottom of the pyramid, so that means um, that uh, we want, want to have an inclusive approach, but not only. So relax a little bit on the bottom of the pyramid uh, uh, model. We can think about other... Uh, other groups, inputs. yeah, other inputs, yeah. Uh, funding possibilities, uh, we see a lot of uh, local finance first, uh, a lot of uh, local parties, local financing. On the other hand, we see global tenders that we, as the whole, as the Wash Alliance, we can uh, actually write to. Um, and we see uh, a lot of money coming from the corporates, which is non-corporate social responsibility. It is like a, a mutual beneficial relationship that we will develop with the corporate sector. In terms of products and services, um, they will first be structured and standard. That makes us proud. We will have the ability to develop that kind of products. They are fully fledged, fully developed, and then we make them context specific. Um, lastly, on the, on the structure, um, there will be a, a one entity alliance for some development some cases. On the other hand, there will also be opportunity-based cooperation uh, whenever the situation demands that. This is our presentation. Very nice. <laughs> 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 Value for money. <laughs> Gleaming. <laughs> and uh, more demand driven and not country based. Yeah. And, and markets and what's it? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. And who's the I fifth? Like the energy for the presentation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. And the yeah. teamwork. Yeah. And the teamwork. Yeah. yeah. That's also great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Local okay. office in Uganda. <laughs> 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 Look at that team. <laughs> okay.